Uh, welcome to Whiskey Outpost. As always, I'm Chris. Uh, and this would be the halfway point through New Year, New Poor, except there's 31 days in January. So we're almost there. Uh, but this is the month where for every day in January, I'm going to drink a pour that I've never had before. I'm going to try it on camera and you're going to see my response firsthand. Uh, unedited, so you're going to know exactly what I think because I have no poker face. It's cool. What I do have is a cold uh, and I have no voice. So I tried to do a couple in a row just to make sure we can get through this weekend because I promised you one per day. And I'm going to live up to it. And so this should be going out on Sunday. Uh, and yeah, I, you can tell if you go back and listen to the last two days, uh, my throat is definitely getting more and more fun to listen to the longer I talk. So we're going to do this real quick. What I have is one neat, one on the rocks, because people like their new pours differently. So uh, yeah, let's get started. Uh, we'll start with the nose and then we'll go to the taste. Uh, and you probably actually want to know what I'm drinking. See, shouldn't rush too much. This is Blue Note. Uh, this is Blue Note Uncut. Um, this is 122.3 proof. Uh, so whatever uh, is wrong with my throat is about to be burned away. Cool. Um, and this was hand selected by the folks at Bubbles, Wine, and Spirit. So this is a store pick, uh, but you can still get blue notes uh, in a lot of places on the shelf. So I think it still follows the rules of, of mainly non-allocated whiskeys uh, here on New Year, New Pour. Um, I do want to talk about Bubbles. I'm not sponsored by Bubbles yet. Uh, I would love to be sponsored by Bubbles because, uh, you know, everyone should have a home whiskey store. They are mine, even though they're about a half an hour from where I live. Um, I walked into the bubbles the first time and it was like the angels had opened up and sang their chorus. Like it was, it's just a great place to find your, your, uh, bourbons, your whiskeys. Uh, both of these were bought there. The Michters I drank yesterday was bought there. Like half probably of what I bought was bought at bubbles. Uh, again, they don't pay me for anything for any of this. I pay them for a lot, like a lot, a lot. Uh, but you know, I, I found some really great uh, allocated bottles there. Um, they're very fair about how they do it. They're great people. They know all kinds of things. And they have two locations, which are both equally far from me. Uh, yeah, but it, it's great. I, I love them. Uh, and I'll sing their praises, even if they don't sponsor me, but sponsor me. Like, this is a great show. You can tell. I have a cold. I'm doing it. That's how awesome it is. That made more sense before I said it. But anyway, we're gonna do we're gonna do the blue note. Um, we're gonna start off. I know nothing about this. I know a lot of people really like it, but I've never had it before, so I'm kind of excited to uh, see what this is all about. So let's start with the nose. Oh, so I get it. I get why people like this. And for a lot of the 122 proof bourbons that we've tried, the minute uh, you know this touches the nose, like the burning starts. This is dark caramel. It's sugar cinnamon it's brown sugar the nose is really good and it kind of worries me because i've had several so far where the nose has been fantastic uh, and the palate has not followed but let's give it a shot yeah that's really good <laughs> um it's a, like a three-tier effect. So the, when I first tasted it, there was enough sweetness that I wasn't, you know, like freaking out because I'm like, what is going on? But it was all, it was almost all proof. So it was like just real strong on the front. And then the palate matched the nose. I got the dark caramel. I got the brown sugar. I got just a touch of vanilla and, and spice. And, and oh, my gosh. Yeah, I got a cold and I'm going in for more. Like there's a hot toddy in my future and it's blue note uncut. This is this is why we have store picks. Like it's really it's really good. Uh and if I drink any more, uh, I'm gonna lose my my voice even more. So, like I said, people like to drink things different ways. So we're gonna go and we're gonna try this on the rocks. Um the note really cuts the nose really cuts down. Um there's still a lot of dark caramel. There's still a lot of brown sugar. There's still a lot of vanilla in the nose. I think I didn't say vanilla when I tried it on the rocks. I think I just didn't pick up on that, but I'm betting it's there if I 
Uh, yeah, a little bit. It's the vanilla is a lot more present uh, when it's on the rocks. And the flavor is still fantastic. Um, you know, the the three three waves have have gone down. The proofiness isn't there so much. You still get that uh, that the dark caramel. I mean, that's that's kind of the main phase. Uh, and I forgot when I was drinking this, the third phase was, it was kind of like proof and then it was real smooth and sweet. And then you kind of got like a little aftertaste uh, of the the proof in the back of the mouth. Um, still very pleasant. Don't get me wrong. I enjoyed it. Um, this, this eliminates the front and back proof like you'd expect because it's watered down due to the ice. Um, it makes it less interesting because I kind of like the emotions of going through this on the rocks. But I would, if somebody was like, here, you must drink this with an ice cube. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I, I would, I would happily drink blue note. Um, kind of makes me a little curious what it would taste like if this wasn't a store pick. I mean, I guess that's the danger of the first time you try something at being a store pick. Um, but not big enough concern that I regret in any fashion, um, this bottle. Uh, and in fact, if I regret anything, it's that i I think I bought this long enough ago that there's probably not another of those store picks on the shelf, but I know where to go. I'm going to bubbles sponsor me. Um, we'll see, you know, we'll see what happens. But anyway, this has been a marathon session of me losing my voice, talking to you about whiskey, but if I'm losing my voice doing anything, talking about whiskey, I think is the way to go. Thank you so much for showing up and staying through here. You know what to do, like, subscribe, get the notifications, because I'm drinking through the month of January no matter how I feel, and I will use placards to talk about this stuff if I have to. Something, I don't know, I can put a little, little verbiage on the YouTube. That might be easier. Anyway, um, thank you so much. Leave a comment. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. Tell me what new pours I need to drink for the rest of the month, uh, and we will see you next time. Thanks so much for dropping by the outpost. See ya. Thank you.